This is the last day of At Your Own Pace Lessons being open. I wanted to go live tonight and talk to you guys. I feel like I'm a little crooked. Talk to you guys about um, what happens when someone sings in a key that you cannot play in. Hey, Amy. Hey, you guys. Are there any keys that you guys are more comfortable playing in and any keys that you're a little less comfortable playing in? I also will take your song suggestions below. If you want to put a song suggestion and a key that you want me to play it in, I would be happy to do that if I know the song. I'm going to start off with How Great Is Our God. Uh, okay, and let's pick a key for the, uh, you guys are fun. B and A, of course, of course, of course. I'm going to scoot my chair back. Okay, so let's do How Great Is Our God in the key of A. Go to B flat, hallelujah, finally, a key note. How great is our God, sing with me. How great is our God, oh, we'll see how great. He said go up again, go to B. talk about this for a second. Um, so those of you who are wanting to play in every key on the piano, which you should, that's a great goal to have. Um, the first step that is going to get you there is to learn to think in number. Okay. Because playing by ear is thinking in number. They're the same thing. So when I'm playing this song, I'm thinking, this is just the chords I was playing. You could play it different ways. But I was playing the one, how great is our God, walking it down seven. Sing with me, how great six is our God. Oh, we'll sing five, how great four, how great five. Hey, Jessica, is our God one. Okay, so that way, if I want to change keys to B, how great it would be the one again is our God. Sing with me seven six. How great is our God? Oh, we'll see five four. How great five is our God? So if I want to play it in E, how great. So now when someone starts singing that song randomly, I don't freeze because I know the numbers, right? And I'm comfortable in every key on the piano. I know the numbers in every key. Now, there are some keys that I would be more comfortable playing that song than others, just like you. But when you learn the numbers, it takes away the fear 
or I should say preference. Like I would probably prefer to play that song in a different key, but you know, I can play it just fine because I know the numbers. Keys Saul says it's passing chords to modulate for me. Yes, those modulation passing chords um, to me are nice. It helps give the singers a key of and a clue of, to know where to go. Okay, I'm going to do another song. Like I said, I will take your guys' song suggestions in the comments. We're talking about playing in every key and how to get that there. Hey, Tara. Um, and the the main thing that you're going to have to really be super comfortable with is numbers. And when I say super comfortable, I mean like be able to name it instantly. Like what's the six of B? It's G sharp. That fast because you have to play it that fast. When you're in service, what's going to happen is you're, okay, I know I go to the six, but what's the six of B? Oh my goodness. Well, the singers aren't going to wait for you. And the musicians, the church isn't going to wait for you. Like you need to know it that fast. Okay, let's see. Blessed be your name oh I love you forever that's a good one goodness of God okay all right I need keys for those you guys oh, the Lord. blessed be your name I'm in B blessed be the name of the Lord hey body some song suggestions on here the first one was I love you forever that's a good one <coughs> in the key of F sharp okay so that starts on the four I love you forever six I love you five forever four I love you forever in my head. goodness of God in F, I think is what he said. Hey, you guys. So we're talking about, for those of you who are just joining, we're talking about being able to play 
in every key. I've had um, people sing songs before. And it seems like when somebody starts singing a song, <coughs> it's never an F. It's never in C. It's always in a key like B or A. So thank you so much, Key Saul. So we're doing uh, Goodness of God. So I'm starting on the three. timer on it. So from the moment that I wake up, five, one, walk it down, seven, six, I will sing for of the goodness, five of God, one. Hey, Hannah, go to the chorus. It's the four. All my life you have been one faithful. Four. down one seven six five four three two major five one four all my life you have been faithful four all my life you have been so six started singing that song in a random key. Let's see if I can pick a random key. All my life you have been faithful. Oh, all my life you have been so, so good. This is D flat. With every breath that I am. I'm still thinking one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five. So that's how you learn to play in every key, and that's how you eventually start to learn to play by ear. All of your spontaneous style playing is based on playing by number, and I know that seems really basic. I know um, some of you might be looking for this bigger answer, this light bulb moment, but I promise you it's that simple, okay? Once you master um, numbers and they really become a part of your playing and you're not, you don't even really, like I'm not even really necessarily thinking oh I'll go to the five or the four like you almost just start to develop the ear to hear it and that's how you develop your ability to be spontaneous and to play by ear so if you haven't made it in the at your own pace lessons I hope you guys do that it does close tonight this has been our final opening for the year this week right here um, so if you feel like you're in a rut or you want to start playing the at your own pace lessons or for you if you have a question um, on whether it's going to help you or not, send me a message and I will help you figure it out. I'm here to see you guys grow in your playing. Hey, Faith, I'm here to see you follow your God-given callings and dreams, your desires of playing the piano. Remember, if God has given you a desire or a calling to play the piano, it's your job to steward that. It means it's your job to invest in that gift, okay? Playing the piano and being a worship leader on the piano is a calling and that's something that you can do and you can do a great job at it. And I'm here to help you. So I believe in you guys. You have what it takes and I'm here to help you and I will see you guys later. Hope you guys make it in.